talk today about these. These were one of the most important inventions in the Stone Age. The needle and sewing. Because being able to sew clothes properly that fitted you was extremely important to people, the early modern humans who first moved out of Africa many thousands of years ago and into the rest of the world. And as they moved northwards, the climate and the weather became colder than what they were used to. And so they had to start making sure they were protected from the cold by wearing clothes that fitted them. Not just chucking animal skins on top of them, just loosely with holes in, but actually making clothes and cutting the animal skins and sewing the clothes together so they fitted them properly. So they can make hats like mine, and coats like mine, and warm trousers, and warm boots. And they couldn't use metal for needles like we use today. They had to use another material, different material. They couldn't use stone because it would be, it would be too thin. So the material that they used to use most of the time was either bone or antler. But antlers don't come in the shape of needles. You've got to make them into the right shape. So what do you do? Bones, most of the time, don't come in the shape of needles either. So what they had to do was they had to take little pieces of bone or little pieces of antler like that and they had to start cutting, as you can see there, cutting two lines into the bone or the antler to start to make the shape that would become the needle. And they'd have to cut through the bone or the antler, which is very tough, until they ended up with that shape. And they would use a flint tool, something like that, or maybe a knife with a handle. And it's a lot of hard work. You have to scrape away like that over and over again. And you don't get very far, and it takes a long time. But after a while, sometimes a long while, you end up with something that looks a little bit like that. That is a very thin... Sorry, I just got that right. There we go. That is a very thin piece of reindeer antler. But it's not yet the shape of a needle. So what do you do next? Well, the next thing you need to do is you need to start grinding it into shape. And one of the best things to use for grinding it into shape is something like sandstone. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are lots of little grooves in that stone that have been caused by me making needles from it. And these stones with these grooves in are often found by archaeologists in places where Stone Age people have lived. And they know that these were the stones that they used to make their needles with. And what they did was they put the stone and the, and the piece of bone or antler together and they would start rubbing it down into shape like that. Now before the needle became too thin they had to do something important. They had to make the hole, and to make the hole at the end of the needle to put the thread in, they would use a piece of very small sharp flint, and they would drill it carefully. Now you had to do that before the needle became too thin, because if you left it too late and you tried to do it, the needle would just break. So once you got your hole in, you'd then carry on shaping it around the hole with your piece of sandstone like that, and eventually, if you were patient, if you were lucky, you would end up with a nice long thin needle with a hole in it at the end which had not been broken when you put it in. Now I said to you that they used bone or antler for needles and they had to cut the shape of the needle out of the bone or antler but there's one type of needle that they could make where they didn't have to do any of that it was much easier to do because when they hunted deer they found, when they were chopping the poor old deer up for meat and bones and animal skin and antlers and all the rest of it, one of the things they found, or don't forget sinew as well, they found these in the back of the deer's foot. Every deer's foot, round about there, in the back of the deer's foot, I'm showing you the same place on my hand, has a little bone just like that. That is one taken from a deer's foot. Nothing's been done to it, it's exactly that shape. And you can see that it's already in the shape of a needle. And that's why modern people call it the needle bone. And very little work is needed to make that into 
a needle. Okay. So each deer was carrying four needles ready to make it into a coat. Now if you look in the book Stone Age Boy, somewhere in there you can see pictures of people making needles.